Jenny and Monica just can't share a room. Monica loves the sunshine, but Jenny hates it. Now they're both in the dark. Only Dad can help the two girls make up. They're big girls now, so they should have their own spaces. Jenny and Monica have to build their own tents. Let's see how this turns out. Jenny is building her goth tent. It's so sad. She hurt her hand. How can she wipe her tears now? Let's check on her older sister. Whoa! Looks like Monica's optimism is helping her build an awesome tent. Jenny is getting mad, so she decides to steal Monica's screwdriver. Monica is energetic and inspired. Time to cover her frame, colorful fabric, and a big bow. Perfect! She used dad's curtains for this, and now his Zoom call is turning out to be a total disaster. Meanwhile, Jenny finishes up her frame. Time to make a floor. She heads for the closet. She'll use all the stuff people said looks good on her. This is where it belongs. Oh, this is one of dad's shirts. The stars match his swim trunks. Monica is ready to install lights in her tent. They're not working. She's almost done with her candy, but she's not done coming up with ideas. Dad doesn't have that many good ideas. He even hides money in a pot by the door. It's not a very secure safe. Monica can smell money. She's like a leprechaun, grabbing the pot of money and dragging it back to her cave. Oh, this is a magic pot. Jenny is lighting her tent with candles. But now her tent looks like a ritual altar. Kinda creepy. Just like Jenny, dad can't get used to it. After her yoga accident, she can turn her head 360 degrees. Monica is busy making her tent all cute. She wants more blankets and cushions. Oops, that's not very cozy. Oh, you've caused a lot of pain in your day. This must be Jenny's Lego, obviously. She sees pain as pleasure at this point. Dad can't finish building his construction. He's missing a piece. Meanwhile, Monica is getting back to her decorations. She wants her tent to be green. Plants bring oxygen. He should feel at home here. But the only jungle guest here is Jenny. Jenny loves bad weather so much that there's always a rain cloud hanging over her tent. Monica's cute tent just got a pocket for holding her candy. As soon as Monica steps away, Jenny shows up. Being mean always cheers her up. So Monica's candy ends up melted in a sweet puddle. But Monica's not upset. Now she has one big candy puddle to enjoy. Jenny just found her old friend Seth in a pile of stuff. Don't worry, he always looks like that. Seth was her favorite toy when she was a baby. She could only sleep if she was holding him. Now he'll protect her tent from Monica and all her cuteness. No one will dare get close to Jenny's tent. But it's not enough for Jenny. A metal chain will mark her territory. No guests allowed. Oops, the chain's owner is here to take it back. Well, here's a bone for you. What's a party without balloons? Every day is a party to Monica. She always wakes up in a good mood. And in a new place. Please leave your seatbelts buckled until we come to a stop. Phew, it was just a dream. Oh, a danger sign. Nothing is more dangerous than Jenny, so she's taking the sign for herself. Enter at your own risk. If Jenny has the sign, that means some dangerous place is missing a warning and someone could get hurt. 
Monica is enjoying hot cocoa and marshmallows when she gets a great idea. Why not decorate her tent with marshmallows? Sweet, inside and out. But the sweets aren't safe here. Dad is eating her decor. Monica is offended. After all that stress, I need to relax with some meditation. But a butterfly is distracting me. Where'd it come from? Let's hunt butterflies. So many of them are flying around Monica's garden. And she catches them to decorate her tent. She wants to share with her sister. But Jenny doesn't like butterflies or Monica. We're done building our tents. The girls just got a message about meeting in the living room. They're still mad at each other. Monica was going to forgive her, but then Jenny was mean to her about her butterflies. Dad invited the girls to explain that they're sisters, so they should always support each other. Now they can look at their baby photos. A clean room is fine and all, but Monica likes spider webs. They match her secret room. And the baby spider is perfect. <laughs> Having a pet is so much fun. Monica found a cool tattoo design online. But she doesn't have any actual money in her wallet. She needs a tattoo. Her roommate will always spot her some cash, even without knowing about it. Time to book an appointment. It's so nice to get help from your friends. Okay. But Caroline was saving up this money to decorate her room. She'll have to block her card. Okay, good. Now Monica can't pay. The tattoo artist won't work for free. Here's a reminder right on your arm. Is that a spark between Caroline and the artist? Could this be love at first sight? Caroline loves telling stories about unicorns. And now she has someone to tell them to over tea and cookies. Thank you. He's so clumsy that he knocked over the candy. But they fell in a unicorn shape. Yeah, that was on purpose. Caroline is watering her flowers. Monica hates her garden. The color is all wrong. That's better. Caroline can't handle this. Her mood is totally ruined. Monica has no idea what even happened. Remodeling the room is noisy. Caroline's head is about to explode. Why not try a fluffy hammer? Monica loves that idea. It works and it's silent. Caroline uses special cute toothpaste. It makes her breathe rainbows. And it makes Monica mad. She needs to brush her teeth, too. But it's fine like this. Caroline has so much candy. And Monica is offering her more. How could she say no? Just go for it. Caroline is allergic to spider lollipops. Surprise! Working out like a rich person means using gold bars as weights. What could go wrong? Someone could steal her bench. No way! Maybe Monica is going to use it for her tattooing business? Music helps you relax and find your inner peace and harmony. Holy unicorn! You never know when your roommate might prank you. Caroline is scared to death. Good thing she has someone to complain to. <laughs> Friends are so important. So is Candy. Why is this here all alone? 
The girls are running wild. Monica's coffee ended up in Caroline's drink. She didn't even notice. Running wasn't on her schedule for the day. She might get a speeding ticket. Caroline has clearly never had coffee before. One drop made her go wild. What would happen if she had a whole cup? Nerdy Nick has been trying to find Caroline for a long time. But she's been hiding from him. He found her in her secret room. She'll need her tough friend to defend her. Monica loves pranking nerds. Kiss my skeleton. Monica's the best at all voodoo doll magic. Nick is going to have nightmares for weeks now. Monica is looking for the perfect place for her poster. Caroline doesn't care as long as she doesn't touch her posters. This is the same old fight as always. Then she gets paid and backs off. The more she gets paid, the more she'll agree with her opponent. But the poster has to go up somewhere. All her compromising made her rich. Everyone needs a clothing hanger. But these girls have one for the two of them. Could this be the end of their friendship? Of course! Caroline's pink stuff needs more room. These leather jackets should go to the homeless shelter. Monica can't stand that. You don't want to share? Then take this cutesy junk back! Listening to hard rock helps Monica forget about her annoying roommate. But Caroline doesn't want to listen to that horrible music. These cash earplugs will help for sure. Monica needs them too. She can afford rock concert tickets now. Monica hates losing. She'll even break the rules just so Caroline doesn't win. I need to protect myself, but in a soft way. Now that's more like it. Interior decor can really set the mood. Caroline wants it to look rich. And Molly has to use Caroline's rejects. The result is just as good. Caroline is furious. Everyone needs shelves in their room. Caroline stores her expensive accessories and tiaras here. And she treats Molly's room as a trash can. That's frustrating. Molly's creativity helps her use Caroline's trash for something good. She can turn a normal box into something awesome using paint. It looks so nice. When you have lots of money, you can afford all kinds of lighting. How is Molly going to light her room? Well, not everything needs to be lit up, right? That's up to Molly. Soon, her room has cool lights that even Caroline can't afford. After Molly's little craft, now she'll have to shower in the dark. Molly goes down to the basement in search of treasures. There must be a lot of good stuff in here. What's this old suitcase for? What's she up to? We're about to see. There's another suitcase inside. This can't be for her new room. Unless she turns it into a chair? That's not very comfortable. But Molly's so creative that she can turn anything into something for her room. This is actually a pillow. Awesome. Caroline is jealous. So she orders a ton of squishy cushions for her room. It's rich. And poor Molly has to settle for her old junk. She looks like a sad little gray mouse. And Caroline is like the cat that's about to get the cream. Caroline can afford a cool desk with a laptop. 
This is her chill corner. Now she can watch Troom Troom trick videos in her new room. Molly's so bored that she comes up with new ideas using whatever she can find. She made a desk out of a trash can. Since she can't afford a laptop, Caroline will decide to generously share. Molly keeps getting new ideas. She can make a telescope out of toilet paper and cardboard. Caroline doesn't need arts and crafts. She can just buy new stuff. She's teasing poor Molly. Maybe Molly doesn't have a rich imagination. Molly has to think of something Caroline won't be able to buy. If she explores her house, maybe she can find something cool. She can use ropes and clothespins. Caroline doesn't think it's going to work. Big mistake! Look at this amazing photo display! Caroline's not impressed. She bought a projector to show off her pics. Molly's idea aged like milk. Caroline has so much money that she needs a special place to store it. A safe with a complex code would be perfect. But she doesn't remember the code. Now Caroline's money is safe, even from her. Let it hang out there. Molly's safe is just an old box. That's where she keeps her greatest treasures, her only dollar, and the code to Caroline's safe. Which tent was your favorite and why? Tell us in the comments. See you next time on Troom Troom Tricks.